In this video in differentiation, we're going to learn how to differentiate a function. Now a function just means we have an expression or an equation. That's an example of one right here. And we have two steps we need to follow. The first step we need to follow is multiplying every power by its coefficient. In this case, we have 2, which is the power, and 3 is the coefficient. A coefficient just means the number that comes before. So it'll be the number before the x squared or the x or the x to the power of 3. That's the coefficient. In this case, multiplying those two together would give us 6. And then we have the second step, which is to take 1 away from the power. So before we had x to the power of 2, now we have x to the power of 1 when we differentiate. And as some of you will know, you don't need to write x to the power of 1. It just means exactly the same as saying x, so we can take that away. Then we're going to do the same thing for this 2x here. Again, we multiply the power by the coefficient. Now we don't have a power here, which means it's the same as saying to the power of 1. So the number out in front of the x is going to be 1 times 2, or just 2 again, and we keep the plus in the middle. And then we have to take 1 away from the power. Now before it was a power of 1, which now means it's the power of 0. Now anything to the power of 0 equals 1. It's just one of those rules in mathematics. So here, x to the power of 0 equals 1, so we can cancel it right out. It doesn't effectively exist. Here, we have a term by itself. Now, if we were to follow these rules, multiplying the power by the coefficient, there's no x term here, so that's like saying x to the power of 0. And 1 multiplied by 0 would just give us 0, which would cancel it out anyway. So if you ever have a number by itself, like this plus 1, cancel it when you're differentiating. You don't need it anymore. So this expression down the bottom here is actually this top expression that's been differentiated. And that's how we do it. Let's look at another example here. Here's a slightly bigger expression. We're going to follow the exact same steps and differentiate this function here. The first thing, for each of these individual terms, we're going to multiply the power by the coefficient. So let's look at the first one. Here we have the coefficient, 3 over 2, and here we have the power, 4. Multiplying those together gives us 4 times 3 over 2. And remember, then we're going to take 1 away from the power to leave it with the power of 3 down here. 7x to the power of 6 then becomes 6 times 7x to the power of 5 because we multiply the coefficient by the power and then we take 1 away from the power. Next, we've got 14x to the power of 1. Now again, that's just going to leave us with 14. And x to the power of 1, we take that down to 0, so that x cancels itself out. And that'll happen whenever you have a single x term, or a y, or any other letter. Now finally, we've got this 1001 here. Again, this is going to be cancelled out, because it's already got x to the power of 0, and 0 times 1001 is still 0, so we don't need it at the end here. Now this is the term differentiated. We do want to simplify this down a little bit more. So if we actually multiply these coefficients together, then we'll get a simplified answer. So doing that, here we have 4 times 3, which is 12, divided by 2, gives us 6, x to the power of 3. Then we have 6 multiplied by 7, which is 42, and we still have our 14 on the end. And this is your simplified, differentiated expression. So you've been hearing me say this term function thrown around the top here. Now, what does it mean when you actually differentiate something? Well, to start off with a function, that's like the equation. So imagine there's an equation on a graph, for example. When you differentiate something, you turn the function and find out what the gradient actually is. So at any time, when you get given the equation of a line, you can find out the gradient by differentiating. And that's what you're going to be doing when you're sitting these exams. So every time you want to find a gradient, you're going to differentiate. Next, we need to understand some of the notation. Now usually we see the equations written like y equals x squared plus something x plus 6. So there's y equals on one side and there's a whole bunch of x's on the other side. Now this is correct as well, but there is another way of saying exactly the same thing. You've been hearing me say that word function a little bit. This is another way of saying y. If we have a function of x, it means we're going to have an equation that has x in it. And we can write that as f and then brackets x inside. Now this means the same thing as y, but it's just a different way to explain it. Now when you differentiate these, we don't write y equals once it's differentiated because we're no longer talking about y, we're talking about the gradient. So instead of writing y, we would write dy divided by dx. This means that we're differentiating this y equation up here. So we're differentiating the y expression 
but we're doing it in terms of x. So we're multiplying the x coefficients and powers together. So dy up the top, dx down the bottom. And if we actually do differentiate this, it would give us 2x, because we have 2 multiplied by the 1 out in front, and x to the power of 1, which we don't need to write anymore, plus 5. Now remember, we don't have this x because it was x to the power of 1. 1 times 5 is still 5, but this x cancels out. And that would be our expression. You don't write dy by dx if you start with fx. You only do it if you start with y. So if you were given the second expression down here, this f of x equals x squared plus 5x plus 6, you would have to write f dash x. The dash means you've differentiated it. And this would give us the same answer. Now let's look at what you need to know. The first thing you need to know is when you're differentiating, you multiply the coefficient by the power. Then you're going to subtract 1 from the power. Now remember, we just learned some new notation. So usually we see y but that is exactly the same as saying f of x. Also, when you differentiate, you go from a function, that means you've got your regular equation and you're actually finding a gradient. This is gonna be really important in future videos when we're finding out what we need to do. Next and lastly, we need to know that when we differentiate, y becomes dy by dx. So the y expression gets changed and instead you write dy by dx equals. And in the same manner, f of x becomes f dash x when you differentiate it. Let's look at a question now. Here we have y equals 3x to the power of 3 minus 3 quarters of x squared plus 6x minus 3. Now we need to differentiate it. So to differentiate, our first step is going to be multiply the power by the coefficient and then to take one away from the power. That's going to give us 9x squared in this case because 3 times 3 gives us 9 and taking one away from the power gives us to the power of 2. And with the second expression, we had 3 over 4x squared, now we've taken 1 away from the power, so it's going down to just x. And we had 3 over 4 multiplied by 2. So instead of divided by 4 now, we've simplified it to make it divided by 2. With our plus 6x, remember, 1 multiplied by 6 is still 6, and this x cancels out, and our minus 3 is gone. So we don't need it anymore. And that is how we do dy by dx. Now remember, this could be written as f of x, and then if we were going to differentiate it, we'd do the exact same process, but instead of writing dy by dx, we'd write f dash x. And that is how you differentiate a function.